What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice and I want to come you guys with another video. Yeah, it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, been, been almost a week you know, since I last uploaded a video. Just been away from football, you no, know, had my mind off of football, just enjoying life. You know, my birthday was on June 15th, so you know, I definitely enjoy you know, my birthday, you know, you know, have some time to relax, just chill. But um, you know, we're at that we're in that time period right now in the off season where the news is pretty slow. The time period between mini camp and training camp, players of course are on vacation during their summer, and um they'll get back to work in late July. But yeah, coming at you guys with another video. Um this one right here is about Nate Gary. So let me go ahead and get started here. Um Nate Gary has apparently been um no, he's been he's been getting a lot of praise by coaches, been catching coaches' eyes. I made a video on Nate Gary um, not too long ago about him trying to really stick out and um, you know really um, show the coaches you know that um, what he can do and stuff. And apparently it's working. Um, Eagles linebackers linebackers coach Ken um, uh, Flajo um, spoke about it. Yeah, Ken Flajo spoke about uh, Nate Gary. Here's what um, he had to say. He said that Nate, without a doubt, he's uh, Nate, without a doubt, he's smarter than I am in the media room. He gets it. When you got when, when you got back in perspective, particularly when it comes to the coverage part of it, I think it gives you a unique perspective. He's one guy that understands how everything fits together with the back end. I have a lot of trust in him. I think I could put him in it, in any position. He knows he knows what every position with the linebackers and what they do. Um, right now, Nate Gary um, obviously was drafted by the Eagles from Nebraska out of 2017. He converted from um, safety to linebacker in the NFL. Um, you know, he's been kind of a middle of the pack guy. You know, he's had his moments where he flashed during his limited playing time. He's, he's had moments where he, um, you know, where he, where he flashed what he could possibly do. Um, the, the other linebackers on the Eagles roster right now, roster right now is um, Nigel Bradham, Zach Brown, Kamu Gurja Hill. Those three guys right there, we know for a fact, will um, more likely have starting jobs and all three of those guys. But also you have Paul uh, Warlow, you have TJ Edwards, you have Joe Alfieri, you have Alex Singleton, and you have LJ Ford. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, um, the linebacker room right now, there's a lot of question marks for the linebacker position. I told you guys before, if I had a question mark about any position, um, you know, positions on this team, it would be linebacker. Uh, we know Nigel Brown. We know what he brings to the table. We know his veteran leadership. You know, we all know what Nigel Brown brings to the table. Uh, Eagle fans, we know what Zach, Zach Brown brings to the table. You know, obviously playing against him. You know, playing against him when he was with the um, the Redskins. And Kamu Grigio Hill, he's been, he's been on the Eagles for quite a while. He's been mostly a you know he's been a um, primarily throughout his career a special teams contributor. He was he was even our um, you know our kicker <laughs> um, in that you know back in 2017 he was our kicker for a game. <clears throat> so yeah, he's been primarily a um, special teams player, but he has in recent in recent years emerged as a um, solid you know a solid starter at linebacker. But um, these other guys, Paul Warlow, Warlow, T.J. Edwards, Joe Alfieri. Alex Singleton and LJ Fort, big question marks there. You know, with the depth right there, it's a big question marks. Um, which who are these guys going to make the roster? Um, Nate Gary has a great opportunity, man. He has a great opportunity to really um, make make himself stand out. You know, when it comes to these guys that he's competing with, um, he's shown, like I said, Nate Gary has shown flashes of um, of potential when he when he's gotten his playing time. You know, this all this all season he put in the work, he put on muscle. And he, he's busting his ass out there. I got nothing bad to say about that. Hopefully he continues to do that, man, and hopefully he continues to stand out. But when your linebacker coach is speaking great about you, man, that means you're obviously doing something well. So, um, Nate Gary, keep up the good work, man. Who knows? Maybe it might lead to a um, you know a long-term spot on the roster for you. Um, 2017 draft pick, of course, by the Eagles. Played safety in college, and then in the NFL, he converted over to linebacker. <clears throat> So he's been with the team for a while. Um, I'm hoping that this is the year that he really um, takes that next step in his career, and he really and he really um, turns my heads this year. So, best of luck to Nate Gary in 2019 and beyond. So, um, yeah, that's it, man. You know, like I said, I've been away for a while. My birthday was um, on the on June 15th. You know, definitely been enjoying my summer, been enjoying my birthday, and we're in that time period right now, like I said, where the news is pretty slow. 
know, not really a whole lot going on right now because the players, of course, are on their summer vacation. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to put out some more videos before now at training camp. I'm going to do a video. Um, I may release that today. I'm not sure if not. Um, it will be released soon, though, for sure. I'm going to do a video. Um, you know, based on my expectations for the 2019 Eagles, I'm also going to do a, um, a, a, a division standing prediction. I'm going to do that video. I'm going to go I'm gonna go over all the divisions in the league, tell you where I think each team in that division is going to finish in, in their standings, and, of course, tell you who I think is going to win that division. So I'm, I, I definitely make videos here and there throughout this throughout this all season, but uh, I mean throughout this um, period between, you know, um, mini camp and um, training camp. But it's not going to be every day because, like I said, the news is pretty slow during this time of the year. But um, I'm – but thank you guys, man, for the continued support of this channel. I truly do appreciate it. As always, go birds. Spunky Nights 9-1 is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.